Yo guys, welcome to your 15th PSD to WordPress tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at what the loop is in WordPress. <laughs> Alright then guys, so the loop in WordPress determines what content to display on the page that you're visiting in the browser and that content could be a post, a page, multiple posts or some other custom content that you've got. For example, if we had a group of posts that were in, say, a news category, we could use the loop to cycle through all of those posts and display the title, the link, and a small snippet of each one of those posts on our homepage. And then when you click on one of those links, it takes you to the actual post, all right? Now, because this is WordPress's way of displaying dynamic content on a website, the loop is going to be really important to you. It's going to be at the heart of pretty much any theme you develop. So it's vital you understand how to use it. And we can customize it to our heart's content to cycle through pretty much any content that we want and output that to the screen. Now in this video, I'm not going to dive too deep and start making complex custom loops. Um, I will be doing that as we go further into developing the theme, particularly when we come to create a portion of the website which is going to bring in some menu items. Um, however, in this video, I've created a simple stripped down version of the loop, so I am going to walk you through that. Now, I've just created this loop in a new page that I've created called loop.php. This is not part of WordPress's theme files. This is just for the purpose of this tutorial. Okay. Now, there's two steps to displaying content on your website in WordPress. The first step is to retrieve the content that you need for that page. And WordPress does this behind the scenes. This is the first step. It retrieves the content it needs behind the scenes and stores it in a global variable. The second step is to use the loop to cycle through that content and output it to the screen, okay? So this first bit here, how does it determine which content to bring back? Well, it's really clever and by default, WordPress uses the URL structure of the page that you're visiting to determine which content you need. Okay, so say for example, we're visiting a category page and the category is ham, all right? So now if we land on that page, WordPress is going to know to go out, find the category of ham and retrieve all of the posts within that category and bring them back. And it stores that data in a global variable so that then we can cycle through those posts in the loop and output data from them. OK, that's how it works. Likewise, if we go to just a single post like hello world. WordPress is going to look at this and it's going to know to go out and get the hello world post bring it back and store it in that global variable so that we can go into the loop and output it onto the page. All right, so that's the first step. It grabs the data from the database and we can then loop through it, which is the second step. Now, we can override the default way that WordPress goes out and grabs data so that even if you're on uh, this page or some other category page, we can customize what it brings back, right? But that's a little bit more advanced. We are gonna be doing that later. But for this tutorial, I just want to go onto the loop now. So we're just leaving it be so that WordPress grabs the content it needs based on the URL. And then we can cycle through that content in the loop. Okay, so the first step of the loop is this if statement right here. And this is all PHP code, by the way. So this is saying if you have posts, so if this was successful, if WordPress went out and it found that post and brought it back, or those number of posts, then this will be true. So if we have those posts, then we can start the loop, which is a while loop, okay? If we don't have any data, if it didn't manage to retrieve any posts, for example, if we went to um, category ham or category news or something, and it found that there was no posts in that category, it wouldn't bring anything back, then we this would be false, this have posts, and we wouldn't do this loop. OK, so first thing, it checks that it successfully got the posts or got the content that it needs. Now, once we've got that, we do a while loop. And this is just a loop that loops through all of the posts that it retrieves or all of the content. So say it brings back five posts from the news category. Yes, we have posts. So we're going to the while loop and it checks again. While we have posts, yeah, we have five posts, then we'll load the post data. So we're working on the first post out of those five posts that we've retrieved and we're calling this the post function, which is a WordPress function. And this just sets up the content or the data for us to use in the loop, okay? 
So basically, this lets us output data from that first post, like the title or the content or the featured image, that kind of thing, right? So once we've done that function here, the loop content goes here, which comprises of various HTML things and other template tags. Now, template tags are the things we use to output the data of that post. The first one I've got here is the title. So that will go out and get the title of that post. The second one is the content, and that will go out and get the content of that post, okay? So for each post, what we're doing is we're looping through, we're setting up the data of that post so that we can use the template tags, and then we're outputting the data of that posts. Then we'll go back, do we still have posts? Yeah, we have four left, so we'll do it again. We'll set up that post, output the title, output the content. Go back up, do we still have posts? Yeah, there's three left. Do it all again, two left, do it all again, one left, do it all again, nothing left. So the while loop ends and it comes out of the loop. So now we've successfully displayed all five of those posts on a page. We've got the title and the content of all of those posts. But if we wanted to, we could have the link to each post on a page or the image to each post on a page or the uh, something else, the date or the author of that post. Okay, so we can output whatever we want of those posts. So there are tons of these template tags. And remember, that's what these are called. These are called template tags and they are the functions which output the data to the screen. There's tons of those and there's far too many for me to go through in this tutorial. But what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below so you can click that link and go and check out all the different template tags that we have access to in WordPress and the different data we can output. Um, so yeah, that's the loop for now. What I wanna quickly do is go into the um, index file, which is somewhere around here. Why can I never find this? There it is. And I just wanna show you, this is the loop also. It's a little bit more complex because we've got other things in there, but essentially it's doing the same thing, right? So this is the home page. So the home page is going out and it's grabbing all the posts that it's gonna show on the home page, all the latest posts, right? So it's going out and grabbing those and then it's doing that if statement. Do we have posts? Yes, okay, cool. So then it's doing some other dynamic content here, which is not part of the loop. It's just outputting a H1. And then it's starting the loop here. It's saying, while we have posts, okay, yeah, we do have posts, set up the post data. And then what it does, the only thing in the loop is get this template part, okay? And this template part is right here. So now it's outputting the data of each post using these template tags. Like I said, this is the ID of the post. Um, this is the content, okay? This is the title. And various other things that it's outputting. Yeah, it's a little bit more complex and it's using other tags, uh, other template tags and other PHP functions. We don't need to worry too much about that now. All we need to know is that we're going through the loop, we're cycling through each post and we're outputting data using these template tags, okay? And we can only use those template tags because we've used this function first of all within the loop for each post, which allows us to use them, okay? So, like I say, it might be a little bit complex at first, but uh, once you get your head around it, it is quite simple, guys, and we're gonna go into the loop a little bit more as we set up our own custom loops later on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, guys, don't be shy. Feel free to comment down below, and I'll answer as many as I can. Uh, otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.